Welcome back, everybody. You are watching the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I'm going to be doing a video that's, well, it's about on time. It's a one-year review of this ladder. Last January, I purchased this ladder for a specific job. A lot of high overhead work. The most recent project I used it on was that vaulted ceiling popcorn removal that removing that popcorn ceiling texture and it's it's dirty it's dirty it got wet and i have to go back into that house this coming week to do some work and when i removed that popcorn ceiling there was some confusion about why i didn't mask off the carpet the carpet was removed the very next day now there is brand new carpet in there so everything's got to be super clean and i don't know if you can see this i'll bring you down and see how how dirty this ladder got so there is debris everywhere in here so i have to hose this thing out scrub it out i want to lubricate the 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 sliding aluminum parts i want to lubricate and kind of protect these steel parts up here i got the ladder broke down into three parts i hosed them all off they're dried off that texture as soon as it gets wet it just blows right off with a regular garden hose so i'm going to put this back together and get it lubed up and we will get into the details of this ladder and why it's the only ladder I've used for the last year. Starting in this position, I'm going to lubricate the, the sliding aluminum parts. WD-40 Specialist Dirt and Dust Resistant Dry Lube PTF Spray. It's what I'm going to be putting on the aluminum sliding parts. Oh, look at that. It's going to go back and forth one t time. Now for these metal parts, the steel parts up here, I'm going to use the WD-40 Specialist Protective White Lithium Grease. And I'm just going to wipe the excess off the outside. Okay, now that we got this thing cleaned, lubricated, and working as good as new, time to get on to why I chose this ladder. If you remember the first video, uh, about me introducing this ladder, I went over the leg system, how that it's got leveling on two of the bottom legs. So with uh, one foot, you can push a leg down to work on uneven ground, uh, on staircases, and then with one hand, probably gonna lube that up too. You can pull this lever here and get them to retract. That was one major deciding factor because I have a, an aluminum extension ladder that I've used for years and got pretty risky with the thing. Another thing is how extendable it is. This will go up to nine feet. Um, so with nine feet and me standing here, that gives me, I can get like up to 15 feet and put my hands on the ceiling. And if I have a tool like a drywall knife or a paintbrush, I can get way up there. That is in um, step ladder mode. You can turn this into extension ladder mode and get way up there. I should probably know this thing. I think it's like 20, it's like 24 feet. It goes way, way up there. Why don't I have separate lightweight ladders for this specific job? And like I said, I do. I've got an eight foot um, heavyweight fiberglass one which I don't use because it's too big and it's heavy to drag around. I've got, where is that? I've got this old guy here I've had forever. And right now uh, it's used in the workshop to uh, support my laptop when I do live streams. And like I said, I've got that big extension ladder out behind the workshop. I switched to one ladder that does it all. Does it all pretty well. The, the biggest drawback is the weight. The weight of this dang thing it can be awkward getting it through someone's home so there's my standard six foot ladder and here is the uh, what, what is this thing even called the little little giant leveler the only reason it would cause you any trouble is you need to use more muscle to keep it from banging into walls so there is a side-by-side -side comparison 
Now this is typically how I carry it. I will get underneath this one and carry it just like this. So I'm I'm about seven feet tall. Just kidding. Six, so it's about seven foot tall, and I can just carry it pretty easily. Big steps here, rest on my shoulder just fine. And I can you know, run around, carry it around town. Not too bad. So it's also got wheels for for the guys that if it is too heavy for you, it's got wheels. It's got uh, rollerblade wheels on it, so you can drag it around up the driveway. I don't think the weight um, is that big of a deal. It is a factor, though. It is a factor. So I'm not sure what order I'm doing this video, but um, I'm going to put some clips up on the screen. Uh, I can't remember what they are, but one of them is of me uh, probably installing light fixtures or installing drywall up real high on a, on a ceiling, pushing it up uh, all from this here, uh, sanding, painting, up, way up high, and I only have to have one ladder. Now, I forgot to tell you, why don't I want to ha have multiple ladders with me? Well, um, I would have to store them on top of my truck or on top of my tool trailer. What that does is advertise what's in that truck and what's in that tool trailer that it's a construction trailer. And that's not good around the city. People like to steal things that have value. So what that does is just advertise, hey, come take a look at me and see what else is inside here. Um, I don't like running around town with a ladder on my truck. I don't wanna take it on and off every day. This will fit easily inside my tool trailer, just standing up. It's actually shorter than that one. It's a little bit wider on the base, but it is shorter. You can just stand it up inside the tool trailer, and I have an extension ladder. I have a six foot ladder, an eight foot ladder, a nine foot ladder, maybe even a 10 foot ladder. I can't remember what this thing goes up to. Another added benefit, even though I am a solo handyman, is two people can get on this. You have steps on either side that two people can easily work on this ladder holding something up, someone over there, someone over here. So that's an added benefit if you have some help. So going into 2020, I, I'm not going to change things up. I'm still gonna be using this ladder. There is one other thing though. I do have a, a small step ladder. It's a black one, I got it at Lowe's. Um, you guys seen it in previous videos. Um, it's actually, where is that thing? I think it's inside my house. And um, that's about it. A step ladder and this guy here is all I need so if you are interested in picking up one of these I'll put a link to where I got it at Lowe's I paid full price for it a lot of guys have said they have found this ladder on sale um, I will also put a link in the description to the two lubricants that I used on this this ladder uh, one's the dry lubricant and one is the silicone if you guys have any requests for tool reviews. I know there's one that I get questions on every day. It's right over here. Let me quickly grab it. I get requests for information about this every day. I mean, it's I get the emails, I get the insta, Instagram direct messages. It's the third hand. It's way heavier duty than the ones you can get at Harbor Freight, the blue ones. I used to have all blue ones from Harbor Freight for putting up dust walls. Uh, then I discovered this one here. Each one has 150 pound capacity. The Harbor Freight ones have almost no capacity. You can't install cabinets. You can't hold up sheets of drywall on the ceiling with it. Uh, basically, the Harbor Freight ones, from what I, unless they've changed them, are really only good for holding up plastic walls. So uh, maybe I'll stick a link in the description for the original third hand, also in the description. If you've got requests for tools that uh, you've seen me use and you want to know where they came from, how I like them, uh, put those down in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for watching. Click that like, the subscribe, uh, and the and the bell. Got to get the bell in there too. Thanks. Goodbye.
What do you think? Too high, too low? I put it the same length as the old one. It's kind of a feature piece. You look at it right here. I gotta get that label off. Turn this. Turn it back. Always, always make sure you know what light fixture you're going to be installing before you give a price. The height off the ground and how complex assembly is plays a huge role in how much it costs. Just about ready to put this whole thing together here. It's a little swivel. A great day for game of golf. Four.
two squared.